We're back and we're back with some juicy 86 content. Last build update you guys saw on the 86 was the exhaust. If you guys didn't check that out, definitely pause this, go watch that video before you watch this one because it's about to get real spicy with some more Fujitsubo and Tech Arts parts. Not only did Tech Arts collaborate with Fujitsubo on an exhaust, but they collaborated with Fujitsubo on an amazing, sick header. Look at this thing. It is beautiful. This one is also 60 mil diameter, just like the exhaust, so it opens everything, opens up the piping just a little bit more to allow for more air and possibly even some more power. And this thing is just as beautiful as far as welds and quality and craftsmanship go as the exhaust. And I'm very, very excited to be installing this. So here is the base of the header that will connect to the, the engine. And it goes down to a two, here, I'll just go ahead unbox this for you. Oh, oh, gloves. I need gloves. We're just, we're just hopping right into it today, guys. So no time. Today's Valentine's Day. So happy Valentine's Day to you guys. Also the day after my birthday. So it goes from a four to two to one here. And we also have the beautiful Tech Arts badging on this pipe right here. This thing is amazing. Look at the, uh, the flange here. Oh, some sweet looking welds and the flange is a nice. Yeah, the flange is super nice. So just like the exhaust, this thing is extremely, extremely high quality here. I love the Tech Arts badge, even though you'll never see it. It's very, very nice. So this is what we are going to be installing today. I'll give you guys a better look at the base of the header too. This thing is absolutely beautiful. So we're just transforming this 86 and making it into what I think is personally like my dream perfect A86. And we're just getting started here. Oh, we also have the nice flange on this guy too. Also, they put a little goodie in here for me. Check this out. Check this out. Hopefully this fits me because, whoa, this is like a, like a dry fit t-shirt. So sick. Wow. Dude, this is sick. I'm wearing it today. Shirt on, and now we are ready to rock and roll. So let's go ahead and take a look at what we have currently in the car right now. This is what we are working with today. So we get to finally replace this hunk of junk pipe here. Uh, my O2 sensor is just absent. Well, the, the plug is absent. I guess you don't really need it for this. We have the beautiful Fujitsubo Tech Arts exhaust right here that just goes into this jank test pipe, or I don't even know what you want to call that. And then we have the headers here. It so it actually goes bigger to smaller to bigger yeah it's very strange and so really it's going to open it up a lot actually. when i show you guys these headers uh somebody the guy that i bought the cusco cage from told me that these are the trd pro headers really and i just i can't i don't believe that and he saw a picture of my engine bay and noticed from the picture that these are the trd headers if anybody has knowledge of what those are what those look like you'll, you'll see it better once we take it out of here but let me know because I, I have a hard time believing that this is what trd looks like unless well, unless that fixed. was cut it oh was fixed. somebody welded on it okay that makes sense that makes a lot of sense actually so we're just gonna go ahead and uh, take this out piece by piece. So this one is different because it just goes four to one where our new headers go from four to two to one. I don't know what the sound difference is gonna be like, if it's gonna sound any different at all, but I do think it's gonna feel more responsive, maybe give a little bit of more engine noise because it does open the diameter of the headers and the yeah. piping. Overall, it'll be really nice and it'll just be nice overall to have it replaced. Cosmetically, so, it's gonna look amazing. And that too in the engine bay. So we're gonna go ahead and knock this guy off and get started with the Tech Arts header. Yeah, they, they fucking gasket, gasket maker, maker did. Yeah. I, I really do, because this pipe is so yeah. small, the airflow, I, I, I think that we're gonna be able to hear more engine noise. Okay. That's that is my hope. I think it's more crispy. It'll be more crispy. Crispy yeah. engine noise. That's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> Just 
check this out. So this is gonna be the piece of the exhaust that we're changing here. You can already tell how much more girth the Tech Hearts one has versus this little guy. It actually makes a, a really big difference. So this piece gets replaced here, and then this goes to the header of the, the four to two to one. It's actually really cool. Wow, that was nice. Headers are out, guys. Okay, so you guys can see um, what I believe to be just like, is this TRD you think? Probably, yeah. TRD is factory upgrades. The massive difference in how much bigger the Tech Arts header is versus the uh, TRD here. I'm just gonna call it TRD, I guess. I yeah, know. OEM does not look like that. No? No, it's like a cast piece. Okay, so yeah, maybe they are TRD. That's pretty, so we're gonna save these. I have some plans in the future that you guys will, will see, but I'm gonna save these headers. Um, they look like they have been coded and somebody might have fixed this down here. Yeah, they definitely fixed that. Cause it's just another Cracker Jack weld thing, but we can definitely use these in the future. So we're gonna keep these guys, but I just, I definitely do wanna show you guys the difference in quality. The Tech Arch is just so good. It's just, this is just a quality fine piece, Tim. You know what this one deserves? Not. For quality. You know, that's what this is, just a Good. <laughs> I think the move here is, Tim, we connect this guy all together and throw her in. Yep. It's a beefy boy. Yeah, it's a big chunk. We'll give you guys some before and after clips when we get finished up, but let's go ahead and connect this thing and let's throw her in. Let's just appreciate though, Tim, get, get in here close and let's, let's check out the welds. That is like really, that's quality. That is super nice. That's hand welded right there. By a tiny Japanese gentleman in the garage. Guys, if you have not seen the Tech Arts YouTube channel, I highly 10 out of 10 suggest you go watch it because it's extremely entertaining. It's, and then look at this guy. Look at this, just get a good spin here. It's nice, man. So very excited to put this in. We do need to take off our O2 sensor thingy and put it on this guy. But other than that, good to send it. Okay, you guys know the drill. We're gonna wipe this bad boy down, no fingerprints, and we'll give her the first start and do the, the leak test here. Look how nice it is under here now, dude. That is so clean. Everything is brand new. Oh, we also went ahead and installed this heat wrap right here because the header sits right above your axle boot, or your, not your axle boot, your, uh, your steering rack boot. So that'll prevent it from melting or anything. All right, Tim, bro. First start with the new header. I'm gonna show you guys this. It looks beautiful in the engine bay. Well, hey, way better than the other ones, but yeah. That's very nice. Before we put it all the way on the ground, Tim's gonna do a little leak check here, but let's get the initial start and see if we can notice any tone difference. I'm not expecting anything huge, but I do think once we actually go drive this thing, it, it will make some sort of difference, but. Either way, 
just a very, very nice upgrade. So first start, boys, here we go. Okay, you ready? Right up. Watch you die. Probably the timing. Well, guys, I'm gonna be real with you here. This uh, this sucks ass. And then just dies. I have no idea what's going on and this is miserable. Well, we have literally tried everything, guys. The distributor is installed correctly. The plug wire is assembled correctly on the correct firing positions. Tim even set the timing correctly with the gears, set top dead center, and it still does not just want to stay alive. We had to unplug the distributor to get the headers out, obviously, and we plugged it back in, something went wrong. The car starts for five seconds and then dies. And if I try and give it gas, it instantly dies. So real life here, Tim, stuff does not go the way it's planned. And this real is real life in a 30, what? 37 year old car. Yeah, this is a really big bummer. I was really hoping to have this done because we have a shoot planned. And obviously for the video itself, obviously I want to make a good video for you guys and have this thing running with new headers and there's just something in this that is not correct. And it sucks right now. Oh. Well guys, this video just proves that even Tim and I go through shit all the time. And this happens way more than I actually show it. And I figured today would be a good day just to so we don't have any extra days to make the video. So um, stuff goes wrong with what we do all of the time. And today's like today is a true bummer because I was really looking forward to driving that car today. Um, today's Valentine's Day. So I was supposed to have a nice, easy breeze day at the shop installing the headers, which the header install probably took generously like an hour. Very easy. Uh, we were supposed to be able to go to the gym, stop by Walmart, get some food for Tiana and I, and have dinner early tonight. And unfortunately, plan just got smashed right in the face here. So no gym for me tonight. I'm gonna skip the gym and head to Walmart right now to go grab some food for Tiana and I. I wanna make her a Valentine's Day dinner, um, give her flowers, do presents and all that stuff, and just show you guys that like, I have bad days too. And there's nothing more in this world that I hate more than traffic. And while we're in this weird limbo where the shop's being built at the house, we still have our shop down in San Diego, which means I'm driving an hour to the shop. And usually when I come home at this time, which is 5.30, it's a two hour drive home. That blows, hardcore. So um, it's like just a combination of really crappy things throughout today, but we're gonna get through it. We're gonna head back to the shop tomorrow, continue working on the 86, doing the wheels, and hopefully get this thing started. I do think it's just a timing and distributor issue that we have to get the splines in the correct order and get the timing top dead center. All of that stuff, it's just BS time consuming stuff that we were not able to figure out today, unfortunately. But um, the point is, Shit happens, but it's gonna be okay. We're not gonna let it ruin our day. We're still gonna have fun. Yes, it sucks I don't get to go to the gym. I hate, now that I live so far from the shop, uh, the gym has become less of, our pro less of a priority for me just because some days like today, I'm just, I'm just not able to go. If I were to go to the gym today, I wouldn't get home until nine o'clock at night, which ruins Valentine's Day. And this happens a lot more than usual. So that's one thing that's been kind of on the back burner for me is the gym, which I absolutely, like I hate that so much the gym is such a big part of my life that when I'm not able to go 
it ruins my day and that is something that I've had to learn to get out of my head like just because you can't make it to the gym one day is not going to ruin your life don't let the gym consume you the gym is just something that you can fit into your day you don't fit your day into the gym which is what I had to learn the hard way so uh, hopefully when we get the shop back at the house and I'm not driving an hour plus every single day we'll be able to go to the gym every single day again but now my gym weeks have really been three to four Jeez, I hate that people can split lanes in California bad idea anyways my gym weeks have been like three to four days a week now which is it's pretty crazy because I'm used to going six to seven times a week so it's been an adjustment but we're making it only a, f only a few more months. I'm going off on a tangent here. I'm sorry about that. We're going to head to Walmart. I'm also going to surprise Tiana with some boba. She loves boba, and I figured that'd be a good little surprise for her. We're making lasagna again tonight. One of her favorite dishes that I make is lasagna. So we're going to run to Walmart, some flowers, get some chocolates. Hopefully they have those two things. They might not because today is actually Valentine's Day. And get boba and uh, just have a good little Valentine's Day night. So... We got a little bit longer to go in this traffic, but see you guys when we make it to Walmart. Boba's been secured, so. All right, guys, that is going to be the end of the video. I, I apologize for the abrupt ending, but when we got home, I cooked. Tiana and I spent time together, and I didn't really pick up the camera that much. I just, I was over it, to be honest, and I just wanted to spend time with her and just chill out for the rest of the night, so that's why I didn't really film anything. Um, but we're still working on it. We're still trying to get it fixed. You guys will be updated within the next few videos on what happens with the car and hopefully we can get it running. Um, we were supposed to have it ready for a shoot for next week. Our giveaway car is revealed next week and I wanted to have this car ready for that. We'll see, we're gonna try. But like I said guys, bad shit happens to me all the time too. We're gonna figure it out and we're not gonna let it ruin our day, days. That it's, uh, I'm just gonna keep telling myself that. But all right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the video here. Thank you so much for watching. We are so close to 600K. So if you guys have not already subscribed, please do that for me. It help me out a lot and like the video. I will see all of you guys for Friday's video. Peace out.